Good morning, this is Marion from Post Surgery Center of Kissimmee, Florida, Orlando area, with one patient. I think, it, are you local, right? Yes. Are you living? Okay, how are you today? Good? I am good. Excellent. Well, today, is, um, you finished already the session number 10 yep. of our uh, technique with pattern in United States post-surgery draining. This is technique preventive fibrosis. Can you tell other dogs how was your experience, um, why you come here to get this treatment done? Yeah, so I had a really great experience. I came to this specific one um, because my husband and I did, um, we did a lot of research of different um, post-op, um, like massage therapists, um, specifically for um, these specific massage, like drainage and um, fibrosis. Um, mm -hmm. And you, when you when, when you did the surgery, when? So I had my surgery September eighth. Mm -hmm. In where in Miami? Uh, mine was in Colombia, Bogota. Oh, in Colombia, good. Yes. And after that, uh, you got massage before come back to United States. Yeah. So I did the massage there since um, they tell you they give you like a, my doctor gave me some a specific number of dates not to like to stay there until before flying back. So I did my massages there. With, How many? I'm sorry. Um, I think. I think I did, I can't remember if I did eight or 10 there. Okay, so you start with a day after surgery in Colombia with 10, eight, 10 massages, right? I think it was two days after surgery. Two days after yeah. surgery. Do you remember if they use uh, some uh, ultrasound, cavitation, something like you? Um, they used ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they used ultrasound. Um, and then I think they used this one thing that I don't know what it's called that Oh, radi radio frequency. Yes, it's the thing that gets hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, they use that. Sometimes it's hot. Uh -huh. And then cryotherapy. The All of this. Thing. Okay. Well, it's something that is, you know, is is incredible because you can use in this case, you know, uh, heat stuff, and then cryotherapy. I don't understand why, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, and then when you come to United States, you were you went to another place previously? No. So we did. So we did like lots of research trying to find what we thought would be like the best because well we just obviously wanted the best, um, and we felt like pretty confident that this would be the best based on reviews and just based on pictures. Mm -hmm. We just felt like. Yeah, based on the before and afters, and based on um, yeah, what, uh, based on like your credibilities and your um, what's it called, like your background and um, what would you call it, like like what you went to study for? <laughs> ah, okay, um, my credentials. Yes, credentials. That's what I was trying to say. So that's how we felt kind of like confident coming here. And um, yeah, I didn't go to any other places before coming mm -hmm. here. Um, and yeah. then I think it did take a while to kind of decide. And then, so I didn't get a massage for like a week and a half-ish. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my mom did give me a massage. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and and then my husband. Good, good. Um, okay. So I guess two or maybe my mom. No, my mom gave me two and my husband one. So that was three. okay. Yeah. And but I remember when you come to us, your um tissue was a little hard, right? Yes. This is the point that I want to because we're gonna post before and after picture. Yes. And I took a picture, and this lady has very very hard tissue. Even here, the side was really hard. Yes. And also, you know, she got very lumpy here, like a two big balls, a full of fibrosis. Can you tell people how was uh, the description of when you come to see me, how was yeah. your body? So I 
was very like lumpy on my sides. Yes, and your like, side here, right under yeah, your yeah here, especially here was super lumpy, and my arms were very lumpy. Mm -hmm. Um, so my arms were very lumpy. Here was very lumpy. Like you can see it, and you can feel it, and it like really hurt, and it didn't look good. Um, and then yeah, and then here was like hard. I lumpy. remember that you have really big indentation here in this yeah, area. Yeah, I had like, yeah, I had like an indentation and like a line here. And then I had like two, almost like cords mm -hmm. um, on my sides. Um, and pulling, right? And pulling, yeah. And it would pull and yeah, you can like see it and then it would just, I don't know how to explain it. It looked like there was like a cord inside. It was really hard. So when I, I applied pressure, you felt the, the it, pain. It was hurt painful. really bad. It hurt so, so bad. I don't know how to explain how bad it hurt. Mm -hmm. And here you got the cord too. Yeah. Where I the had, doctor did, uh, did the doctor on muscle repair? Yes. I had muscle repair. I was six and a half centimeters. Mm -hmm. My muscles were six and a half centimeters. So he did a muscle repair. Yeah, because you have uh, kids, no? Yes, I, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I had three pregnancies and my bellies were very far out because I'm short. Um, and yeah, so they were very far apart. And so I, I think he like really had to make sure they stay. And then I also had a belly button hernia. Mm -hmm. So he really needed to Perfect. like repair that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also you got here the scar tissue from the C-section. Yes, I had three C-sections. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had yes. um, a yes. C-section. Um, you can see here, you know, the remaining scar tissue for the three C-sections. Yeah. So it's I very, had, very light now. Yeah. Because, you know, when you work in fibrosis, it's, it's not the, the main object, but the consequences reduce the scarring appearance, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So I had the C-section shelf um, from my three C-sections and I didn't want my doctor to take my three C-section scars. So usually they do the tummy tuck underneath the three C-sections, but I wanted to still have my C-section scars. So he did my incision where my C-section shelf was so because of that, my new incision like attached to my um, my C-section shelf. Um, and so it was like really hard and it was causing like an indentation. And because of that, I had developed these like, um, like two these balls. two lumps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, lumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can still see them a little bit because it's like just swollen from... Mm -hmm. um, from Marion working on it right now. But um, when I first came, I had two like very pronounced balls. Like they were very, very obvious. And I was honestly very worried because when I see other people's results, um, most people, there's, most people are very swollen, but they're flat as in like, they're flat from here to here. Like it meets mm -hmm. flat. And I, mine was like that, like it was like two mm -hmm. balls and then this bulging. part was flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like bulging. Bulging, um, two big balls. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I, bulging. when I came, I also, the, the sides were also very pronounced out. Like both of these sides were also very, very, mm -hmm. um, so I honestly thought maybe I, I was gonna have doggy ears. Mm -hmm. Um, but then Marion also really worked on these sides mm -hmm. and now they're, it's now like, it look good. <laughs> yeah, now it's like flat and now I'm like, oh, okay, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I thought I was going to have doggy ears and so, cause it, it just like was so out. Um, so yeah, so these were very, you'll see in the before and after picture. What yeah. I mean. So now you can see, so it's really soft now here. See? Yeah. So here is. Of course, I already worked two minutes ago, so this is going to go away. Mm? Yeah. So I think we can get the 100% recovery. And so now you see, absolutely normal. 
so no mm -hmm. uh, no attachment because was before was like a quick glue right here right here yeah it was attached to my like to my ribs mm -hmm. yeah the huh? skin wouldn't move from my ribs yes it was attached to the, the skin to the rib cage and also you see better absolutely better like no this, lump. this would hurt so bad before uh-huh like so bad <laughs> yes and now you see excellent so absolutely normal also before um like i couldn't move this wouldn't move because it was attached yes it was it was so attached that it wouldn't move the scar the yes. scar wouldn't the incision scar wouldn't move yes. because it was attached. I, 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 how they say, detach the, the yeah. mm -hmm. And I was working also, I got to to release yes. the last one, the last scar. I, I had to uh, release the C-section scar tissue. Yeah. And when, how old was, so what is the first one C-section? Do you remember that? The first C-section was in 2014. Okay, so well, uh, was a big, <laughs> big, yeah. big treatment, but uh, okay, so today is uh, number 10. So we can say that the result is really, really good, I think, mm -hmm. right? Because we could fix all this stuff that what you worry about, right? Yeah, so my son is turning nine in December, so it's like nine years of suffering with this yeah <laughs> yeah and and like obviously my ob ob do you, you know my my doctor who delivered him like they don't tell you anything so like i was having these problems and they didn't tell me you know and it was problems like whenever i worked out or when i like try to go running and the the internal scars would rip it would burn but they didn't tell me what, you know, I didn't know this because they didn't tell me what was happening. I, I didn't know that I had an internal scar. Mm -hmm. And when I had like a, the, the C-section shelf and my belly like would go like that, I didn't know that it was because I had an internal scar. And every time I had another C-section, it was just making the scar more and more. But they don't explain those things to you. So I didn't know what was going on until I came here and then these things were explained to me and then Marion released the internal scar and now yeah. I'm like finally healing from my c-section from like nine years ago and then seven years ago and then my last one was two and a half years ago thank you well yes <laughs> I think um um this is much better mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be better but we just 10th session. No, yes, this is no, my 10th session. Uh -huh, today, with 10th session, is good enough to apply my technique preventing fibrosis, the technique with pattern in the United States. So this is post-surgery draining. It's something that you can request to prevent fibrosis or to stop the process of fibrosis. So, well, do you want to give advice to those suffering with fibrosis and all this? Do you want to give them some advice according to your experience? Yeah, I think um, when I came in, I was already developing fibrosis and um, I was only like four weeks post-surgery and I didn't, I wasn't aware that I was developing fibrosis um, until Miriam told me and fibrosis for sure was one of my biggest um, fears because obviously when you have a surgery to fix different problems, um, you don't want to be having more problems. Um, I also didn't really realize that fibrosis causes pain and I was having the surgery to, um, to, to, because I had pain. So I wasn't looking to be having more pain. So I think my advice is, um, that I hate the thought of people who, put so much money and so much time into other therapists who um, are not really, don't have like good um, credentials and don't have the, um, like who haven't really studied 
fibrosis well and don't really know enough. Um, and they're just like putting in a bunch of money and a bunch of time and they have, they keep being told like, oh, you just need more, um, more sessions. Like if you just keep coming, um, we'll keep working on fibrosis, but instead their fibrosis just keeps getting worse. So, um, I think, uh, my, yeah, my advice is like, you don't need that, um, you don't need that many sessions to get rid of it. If you have a person like Miriam that really has studied it really well and she has like a patent, what's it called? Patent, a mm -hmm. patent um, Techniques. techniques. And she just like really knows her stuff really well. She has so many years um, that she has studied this. Um, so yeah, that's my advice that it is like, can be scary, but if you find the right person that knows um, I think, you know, just put in like the money in the correct place in the 10 mm -hmm. sessions. And I think she like really can help you out really well. And I'm like, just really happy with my results and oh, I am you. so much better. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like, yeah, I came in and this hurts so bad mm -hmm. when my kids, I have four kids and when they touched me, it hurt. Um, and it was just really sad that they couldn't touch me. And my husband like couldn't touch me, like literally people couldn't hug me. Um, and now, yeah, I can do this and it doesn't hurt. Um, and my arms don't hurt and they're not lumpy. And I was like worried about wearing short sleeve because I, I was lumpy and wearing tank tops. And today I were, I came in with a tank, I mean, I wear tank tops and short sleeve all the time. So yeah, that's my advice to just like, Fine. Yeah, just like this is just like such a great option to. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you. Yes, and also I I I would I said okay so the doctor didn't tell you too much about that. But remember those that the fibrosis is one of the most um the common condition after the plastic surgery, and it's the most hard to remove it. And we don't use nothing of nothing or any of the other. A staff or machine or protocol. We have our own protocol here that really works. So you can see more than a, than you know one and thousand and before and after pictures and everything in the testimonials to see that to offer the real results. So well, thank you for your visit. Thank you for everything and for your testimonial and for your great advice. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so happy with my results. Um, I think I've really learned that the surgery is one thing, but post-surgery is such a big oh, deal. Yes. And so, yeah, you just have to be super careful and like, um, you just, you, you need to invest with your post-surgery because it, once you put in so much money with your surgery, mm -hmm. make sure you are also investing post-surgery and taking care of yourself post-surgery because that's Absolutely. a really big deal. Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and remember, uh, <laughs> we can offer a follow-up, free follow-up teleconsultation if you have another question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.